guys? It's your girl Bubbles and we are back at it again with another episode of Want TV Virtual Edition. Today we start off with an oldie but a goodie by our favorite teacher duo, Mr. P and Miss Piro. We're gonna start it off with the Whisper Challenge. So let's get right into it. I need to get these long pauses. Uh, oh, what does this mean? They got the bootleg spot of it. <laughs> okay. Defy gravity. I can't read lips. Try it again. Defy gravity. Hello. Defy fries. I like defy. french fries. Defy. I love fries. Defy fries. <laughs> Gravity. Gravity. I got a commercial one, so I heard you. You say gravity. <laughs> Second word. Yeah, does. Does. Say it again. Does. Talk. Does. How do we talk? No, but close. How do we talk? No. Talk. No. How does. How does. Chow. Does. Does. <laughs> <laughs> does. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you just did it. How tall? Oh uh, no. How does? Drugs. <laughs> Sound. How do you? How does that? How do that? That. Mm, how do that? Sound. How do that? Sound. How do that? Sound. How does that? Sound. How does that sound? What's that? What's after that? Sound. Flowers. Sound. Sour. <laughs> Sour. Sound. How does that sound? How yeah. does that sound? Yeah. How does that sound? Yeah. I got words. How does? But you know it's okay. How does that sound? <laughs> Teacher's edition. <laughs> Whispers challenge. Oh my god. <laughs> that made me miss our want tv family the studio and school overall and if you guys are struggling with the news that school won't be opening back for the rest of the year don't worry and don't hesitate to reach out to your counselors your favorite teachers they're still here to talk to you and help you through all of this our next segment is an interview with our newest teacher miss piro about mental health awareness and it was done by our favorite host baby k let's get into it What's up, guys? It's your girl, Baby K, and today I will be interviewing the new Aspects teacher, Miss Piero. Hi, Miss P. How are you? Hey, Kayla. Miss you so much. I'm well. Thank you. I miss you, too. Of course. So we're going to just jump right into it. So what made you aware of mindfulness and taking care of your body? So when I was a undergrad at Rutgers, I was dealing with um, anxiety and depression. Uh, so through therapy and going to their yoga classes, I started to really um, heal myself and just learn about awareness of the present moment without judgment, which is mindfulness. And after that, I decided to, upon graduation, go to Thailand to further my yoga training to become a certified yoga instructor. So I was there for like two and a half months. And it was a life-changing experience, truly. That's great. Okay. Um, so I know sometimes I get bad anxiety and everything like that. I know other people experience it too. Um, so what advice would you have for people who do have bad anxiety and want to learn how to control it? Um, definitely during this time, especially. If any of our students are dealing with that, obviously, you know, talking to your teachers, talking to the SAC department, we're still very much available for you. Other than that, some... Um, apps such as like insight timer or headspace to kind of start getting into meditation uh spending time in nature uh, luckily the sun is now coming out so you know definitely going outside and <laughs> yeah like you the wind is blowing you look great it makes you feel Thank good you. it makes you look better um so just spending time being active and I'm really big on breath work, so just taking a moment to stop and whether it's just three big inhales and then continue on with your day. Right, right. Um, are there any plans to open up a studio? Do we see that in your future? So, I mean, I currently have my small little business on the side, Self Love Is, which is about kind of promoting self-love through yoga, through meditation, mindfulness, um, and we love to really give extra support to anybody who's dealt with interpersonal violence and donate to suicide prevention. 
So mm. with that, I definitely want to grow the business. But for right now, I am focusing on really bringing mindfulness into the school system. So for example, we do the 10 of Zen. When you walk into my classes, the first 10 minutes, is um, a mindfulness exercise so the class sits in a circle and you know I just teach different things to kind of get our in our creative headspace um, other than that I know that you know we're doing mindful Mondays with the SAC department now for the teachers during this time and that's uh, on Mondays at um, 1135 uh, and I plan to do that probably with the students as well through Google Meet or something like this uh, maybe a yoga club in the future next year. Hopefully, God willing, we're all back and ready to just start the next year um, on good terms. That's beautiful. So, are there any quarantine tricks that you'd like to show us? You know. Yeah. Um. So, off, just one general tip is to definitely sleep with your blinds open so that the sun wakes you up in the morning and you can get your day started. Um, but <laughs> if during the day you are feeling stressed or overwhelmed, there is one breathing technique that I love. It's called alternate nostril breathing. So mm -hmm. basically, we'll sit up um, nice and tall with our shoulders back, and then always having our palms facing up. This way it kind of shows, you know, I'm open to receive uh, anything that's new. Um, so you're gonna invite your right hand, index finger and middle finger towards in between your eyebrows. And then covering your right nostril with your thumb. You inhale through the left nostril. Cover the left nostril with your ring finger and exhale through the right nostril. Again, inhaling through the right nostril. Covering the, with the thumb, exhale through the left. Inhale through the left. Cover, exhale through the right. One more time, inhale through the right. Cover, exhale through the left. Release your thumb, inhale through both nostrils. And then on the exhale, releasing your hand down and opening your eyes if they were closed. So that's kind of, yeah, if you are stuffy, it's a little bit difficult to do. Um, but that one is very good for just kind of feeling a sense of balance between your right side and your left side. And then another um, technique that feels really good when you feel tension in your body um, is just inviting your index fingers towards your temples. And then really just going around to these different pressure points and giving yourself a massage. So uh, doing small circles backwards and then forwards and then inviting um, your middle finger and index finger to your brow line, kind of just pooling pressure across your eyebrows here, and then once again coming into those circles. And then you wanna move those circles down towards your jawline. We have a lot of tension in our jaw. And then um, kind of like behind your ears on your neck here. Yep. And then what you're gonna do is open up your hands four fingers going over your shoulders and then just kind of uh, swipe your fingers down and then you'll feel a nice little massage there you could do that like three or four times and then I always just like to finish off with head rolls so just releasing your chin down to your chest inhaling as you roll your head all the way back exhaling as you come forward yep. inhaling back and then exhaling forward. And then you can also rotate it the opposite way as well. Good. And then, you know, whether it's just a few deep breaths, inhaling, rising your shoulders up. So, and then exhaling through the mouth. I probably do that about three times throughout the day when I just <laughs> feel like, what is the world anymore? I need to feel at peace. Um, and that reset of fresh air, it helps. So I hope this info is helpful to the school, to you. Um, and I, thank you for having me, Kayla. And thank you so much for being here, Miss P. We enjoy your time. Thank you for all the exercises and advice. We all do truly appreciate it. Love you and miss you. And we'll see you soon, Franklin. Bye.
wow just by that video i feel more at peace and if those exercises help you guys don't hesitate to do them now phase one and two are over and if you didn't finish your work don't worry about it phase three is way more important because this work is getting graded and you guys want to stay on top of your game work with your teachers if you need to because they're here to help you and that's all we have for you guys today so please continue to stay safe continue to practice social distancing like share comment subscribe and i'll see you soon franklin <laughs>